Chinese Navy's new large aircraft carrier CNS Fujian, will go to sea for the first time this year, the ship's executive said in an interview with state media. Fujian is the largest warship China has ever built and operating it is a key component in the PLA Navy's goals. The ship was launched with great fanfare on June 17 and is already in the final stages of construction at the Shanghai Shipyard. Hawaii-based analyst Carl Schuster, a former U.S. Navy captain, said he expected Fujian's first trials to take place in the spring. Based on the technology and systems installed at Fujian, the first sea trials will be conducted in around March 2023 and consist of basic engineering tests and ship maneuvers said Schuster, former director of operations at the U.S. Pacific Command's Joint Intelligence Center. He said the initial trials would likely last three to seven days. They will be the first step in a series of trials spanning about 18 months that could put Fujian operational by October 2024, Schuster said. Every trial will be followed by an examination of what was right and wrong, and solutions to those problems, whether human or equipment related, are identified and implemented respectively he said. Displacing some 80,000 metric tons of water, according to a China Daily report, Fujian is 50% larger than China's two current aircraft carriers and puts the PLA Navy in the League of Supercarriers, like the U.S. 100,000-ton Nimitz-class ships. It also shows China is a match for U.S. aircraft carrier technology. China's other two carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong, are based on outdated Soviet technology. Both carriers use a ski-jump launch system, in which aircraft take off from small grades, while U.S. carriers use a more sophisticated catapult system to launch their aircraft. And Fujian uses an electromagnetic catapult system, something only the U.S. has on its newest operational operator, USS Gerald Ford. Schuster said integrating the Fujian Air Wing into its operations using the new technology would be the final critical part of its trials, and he estimates that will happen around the summer of 2024.